tribe welcome back to my channel so today we're doing something different in something that I wanted to talk about for some time now I was always interested in crime and you know unsolved unsolved cases and all of that stuff um, that's something that I just love watching and getting my hands on so unsolved mysteries on Netflix we are gonna be covering an episode which I think is the last one called Missing Witness. So if you haven't seen the TV series, I would highly encourage you to watch it because I'm not gonna go over what happened. Um, briefly, Lena Chaplin claims on tape that her mother Sandy killed her stepfather Gary. Several years later when she had to testify in court, she disappears. So I'm gonna approach these cases a bit differently. I'm gonna go into things that I feel I should look at and a couple of interesting observations. I do think that some of you have noticed that already. So Lena Chapin, right? Who gave birth to baby Coulter November. Did you see how he, how that boy uh, baby boy looked like did you pay attention to his face because what I find interesting that Sandy the mother really wanted um, Lena's, ba Lena's baby right and uh, she was very keen on getting getting that baby after you know something happened to Lena so the thing is I wrote down first off I'm gonna include the picture of Gary who was killed and the baby. Take a look at that. Now, what's interesting, take a look at the uh, um, birth date of baby Coulter. It's the 3rd of the 11th and Gary disappears on the 11th of the 3rd. So I'm just going to leave it for you here, but it's pretty clear for me. you know we can be lovers in one life and then we can be brothers sisters siblings in other life so that's something that has happened here in my opinion now by law I have to say that this video is for entertainment purposes only okay so let's get into this so guys I don't think I'm gonna be doing these readings very often specifically when it comes to deceased people because even watching those TV series before they would say how a person died, I, I can feel physically, you know. They don't show it all the time, but it's pretty often. These require much more energy from me, and uh, I just want to keep it balanced. So let's go. Why did Elena Chapman come here to learn? Yes, let gravity do the work. What did Lena Chapin come here to learn? Okay, I knew boundaries will pop up and uh, let's take the other deck that I gotten lately. It's called Magic of You Oracle, I believe. These talk on another level. These are not sugar-coated, you know, these are not only positive. I like the good balance. So let's see. What did she come here to deal with? Okay, now let's take a look at what has happened that night. That night, that day. What has happened to Lena? What has happened to her? We have six of cups. Let me adjust the camera for you. Mm. 
we have strength we have the devil and we have two of cups right bottom of the deck six of swords it's interesting how the six of swords um it's like a continuation if you can see um from strength card because first off we have bullets and then we have woman shooting right so what i'm seeing here specifically with the devil card and the two of cups is giving me already a vibe of where stuff started going down so take a look at this card a bit closer with me there is someone creeping behind that corner there as you can see, I do think whatever has happened to her that physically hurt her happened indoors. Purely because of Two of Cups and uh, the devil here, the way it's represented. She wasn't alone at that time, but as if she had, she... She had to go somewhere in order for her to be away because in the place where she was at, she wasn't alone. I don't see her alone in a house. Wow, interesting. Okay. What happened? She was being offered money as well. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Something happened very quickly. It's interesting how we have a dev the uh, Devil there and we have the Strength there. Bullets fly very fast and then we have the Eight of Wands next to the Three of Swords. So it does seem like something happened very fast. She was offered money though. She was offered money to prolong something, prolong a process or prolong something or just not to act on it. Was she offered money? Yes, she was. Told ya. Did she take it? I don't think she was offered money only her. I do think that someone else who was around her was offered money but I don't know if it happened on the same day or it happened prior okay who offered the money the Emperor a very a very strong male I can say the money the money was coming from a very strong male character is there anyone else involved I do think that this male might have been an issue uh, and was the one who who was involved in Lina's disappearance. There was there was some kind of substance involved there too. Um, how was she killed? Well, there is no body, so allegedly. Um, let's see. Let's see what happened.
She's telling me that she's on the ground. So I don't see I don't see her life in this case. Uh, why? Look at these cards. Specifically the Fool and the World card, which are the mages here. Take a look at the Fool card, what is happening there, and take a look at the World card underneath, being being underneath somewhere. Does it make sense to you here? So it's pretty straightforward here, that's why I'm using this deck, so the imagery is very clear for you as well. But it does seem like um, someone had to go shopping or to prepare for... Pre there is preparation for her to be on the ground. Does it make sense? Because Nine of Hazards in this deck is shopping. You know, I need to get something in order to get it done. What is the cause of her death? What is the cause of her death physically? Damn. You know what, it's very interesting how before starting this reading I felt my throat uh, closing up but I also felt my torso, th there was pressure on my torso. Now what is happening here, we have two of hazards and that's how it looks like. So there is pressure around this uh, person, if we can call it uh, like that, um, throat and there is damage, there is no torso basically. Well, there is but there is n not, not much. So was it was it was it quick there were a couple of there were a couple of tools i'm seeing here there are tools involved something happened quick like that and then i do think that she was fighting and she didn't let she did she was she was fighting she was definitely fighting that wasn't i'm hearing the first time wasn't the end like she didn't she didn't let it go Now, the moon card, when I saw the moon card, I must say um, that regarding her death, and it literally sits on top of the world, um, regarding her death, I must say that she is trying where, where to find her body, where she is located at. She is trying to send messages to one person through dreams. We're going to take a look at that person. See, because this person knows where they're going, right? knows where they're going, um, they know which uh, gravestone they're heading towards to. Now, when it comes to the moon card, we do have cemetery here as well. And as if through dreams, she's trying to tell one person um, where she's located at. So let's take this away because it became a bit too messy for my liking. And um, let's see. I do want to keep those here though. So in this lifetime, we didn't cover that. She... See, what's interesting with the Epiphany card that this lady cannot see, right? She cannot see. So in this lifetime, she came knowing that there was some kind of a blockage, some kind of a secret, some kind of a I can't see situation. Now, when we look at the boundaries card where everyone is trying to reach for her, you know, this woman, and she's just trying to keep her boundaries straight, it does seem like there was a lot that she had to deal with when it comes to other people's needs. The activated earth, I do want to clarify that because I do think that there is a hidden message there. It's not what it says in a book. I keep looking at that gateway and I want to dig a bit deeper into that. See, even this lady, she has her eyes closed with butterflies. You know what I mean? She knew that she will have to keep some kind of a secret and it obviously didn't lead good ways here. Um... Trans yeah, transform the way you see. Damn, you know, that was a close call, I must tell you. When it comes to activated earth, so she, she could have avoided this. She could have avoided this, but there was like 10%, 10 you know, like 90% it was clear that she, she'd have to cross. I don't want to say that this was a test. 
but it kind of was. Big clearing, karmic clearance happening here. Yeah, even this one. Do any of them see in this deck? Yeah, some of them do. Some of them don't even have stuff over there. Over their eyes. Yeah, not all of them have their eyes closed. And we have we're pulling three cards, and there are three women whose eyes are closed. Burn away the past. Exactly. See what I was talking about? So she came in this lifetime in order to clear big karmic debt. And it had it can be hers and it can be someone else's. But with that, it seems like she's taken away. It could be, you know, even the we could be talking about ancestral lineages here let's see we have Herias No, okay. What this is saying to us is that she she came here to go. That's what I have to say. She came here to go. There was a very small chance for her to change things around. It was kind of predestined, you know. Um, I'm hearing start over. She's going to start over with a clean slate, but this was not seeing and having that secret, you know, with her, that was part of her karmic situation here. And she had to be resilient because resilience is here, burn away the past, you know, she came here, she, she did what she had to do and she, she's done, you know, she's gone. So let's take a look at a couple of other things. Where's the body? Where is the body? Mm -hmm. Where is the body? The body was moved. The place where she suffered injuries, it was moved somewhere else. And well, obviously, well, not obviously, but that that's, that's what you can expect, right? In this case. Now, what's interesting here, I do see that there is a, a home, a house not too far away where her body is. And I do see a very clean grass. So it wouldn't be wild grass. Um, it seems like as almost people are looking after that grass. There can be a family living not, not too far away. There is a home not too far away. Damn, do you remember how I showed you that? Card where there was a chain around the um, zombie's neck. Look at this. It's the same one. See, and I'm talking about the grass and I just noticed. So where her body is, I'm not seeing a lot of I'm not seeing changes in a ground level that much. It does seem pretty straight, but she's also referring to if we looked at the map from above, right? If we looked at the map, um, not too far from that place, there are there are two streets. Um, there might be like a I don't, I don't see a crossing, but what I see 
there might be two streets parting, two paths parting. Um, but they do seem like they're coming from somewhere else and then, and then. So I'd look for a V. Two streets, two paths making a, nearly a V, you know? That's what I would look for. And a house, not too far away from her body. Anything else? See, I keep referring to the house. Take a look at my death card here. See that? And that grass that I talked about, it seems like the surface of a soil is pretty, um, it's pretty looked after, wherever this is. Okay, there were water. Water. Um, there, there is water not too far away but it does seem like see looking at the death card that we have partition of a healthy body and the zombies body right take a look at that and now take a look at the king of cups there is a partition there where he's up there but he's down below right so what i'm seeing with that it does seem like there might have been a place where there was dampness or there there was water but it does seem like she's below. I keep seeing below, you know? Is that water visible still? It's not. It's not. It's like a big pond or something or a river that dried out. It's not. So it might have been a place where there was just... Damn, this is in intriguing. Let me see a bit more. A bit more about that place. Why, why is there water? A female nose. A female nose. Thanks. Mm -hmm. A female, and I would say pretty attractive female, specifically when she was younger. A female knows, but I don't think she has anything to do with this, but she knows because she lives not too far away from the place. I do think that she could live in that house I was referring to. I would ask a female where there was water, but there is no more. If that makes sense to you guys. Damn. Okay, let's pull Urban Deck. Anything else about the location? I keep hearing there is junction not too far away. It's not it's not close by, but it might be a bigger junction, that's why it's important. So maybe she's she's talking about a a town of some sorts where that junction is quite big or it's quite prominent to the place. Which is also referring to that being, it's it's pretty difficult to find. Um, why is it difficult to find?
It's unnoticeable. But it does seem like she could be found. Who's the best person to... Doesn't that look like her sister? She said the best person to go for it is someone who is fighting for her. Who doesn't let go. See? Who's speaking up and who, does, who doesn't let go. Look at those hands here. I'm gonna make it happen, right? Okay, uh, we're gonna ask a couple of other questions here before we go. Was there a reason behind your death? Was the reason behind your death? What about the King of Pentacles? Death. Do I need to translate this to you? <laughs> the reason behind her death uh, was not only the death of a King of Pentacles who is a family guy who takes care of the home and also the family, you know, etc, etc. But uh, because... I'm getting a headache now. Oh, damn, because wasn't he shot in the head? He was shot in the head. Uh, specifically, if this, I don't think they said any locations, did they? Where he was shot, which side exactly? But I could 99% tell you that it was aimed more towards, at least the first time, more towards the left side at the back of his head. Now, another thing what I'm seeing here, there were two things. So this is the main thing here. We have majors, right? We have about to speak about clarity, right? Ace of Swords is a light bulb moment. Why? Why, why I crossed? Because there, there had to be a light bulb moment. There, were, there had to be clarity to the situation. And I was about to offer this. So that was pretty straightforward. The King of Pentacles and the Death, death here, right? Okay, let me have a sip of water. Who was involved? Who was involved? Who was involved? Clarify four cups. Clarify is pens. Smart. Okay. We do have two people here. That being referred to. But I do think that we split in a, um, those two people to um, one one person, which is the masculine energy here, was the most prominent here when it comes to her death. And this is someone who's pretty smart, intellectual, I must say. Um, it does seem like this person um, holds money or has po possessions, uh, material, ma 
material world is something that they are are not lacking off you know financially now the other person we do see here which is not as mature who's not as mature is the page of pentacles right over here someone this page of pens is very different in my deck here someone who's very observant someone who's not emotionally fulfilled with the four of cups anything else about this Oop. Okay, don't shout at me. Wait. Oh, wait, Taro shouting at me. Anything else? Involvement, involvement. Queen of Cups is here. She keeps referring to being offered money or being offered something material um, prior to this. So, see we have two people, a male and female here, male and female here. She's referring to a couple of some sort and um, she keeps referring to, you know, male specifically trying to hand money or material goods of some sort, something material for her. Why? I wouldn't be surprised if she was asked to move away or to move further away because how I take this Knight of Wands, it seems like this Knight is out of place. The way that this lady is dressed and where she's at, she's out of place. Okay, and Seven of Swords is someone keeping a secret. So why? To keep a secret, to move away. But it also seems like money was offered to not only her, but not for her only, but for... Did she have one kid? I do think one. I'm seeing children here, you know. Yeah. To help the child out. See, there is a boy. So, it was like almost bribing, right? Anything else location wise? Anything else location wise? A bit more about that. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? It does seem like um, wherever she's at, there's a couple living nearby. They have arguments from time to time, but overall they, they get along pretty well. And I, I keep hearing that there is people walking nearby, or I wouldn't be surprised if there were people walking on top of where she's buried, you know? Um, because I kept seeing that. There were people playing in the zombie deck, you know, on that grass. Now we have people here. It doesn't seem like you would find her body somewhere. Somewhere that people would be looking at, you know, like, oh, it's probably somewhere remote, somewhere far away or somewhere where there isn't people around. There is people around there. People walk past. Damn, okay. How are you now? Transitioned. Oh, she's angry. Damn, she's angry. Who 
whoever that person is who whom she is sending messages to in a dream she's she's pushing for it she's actually doing it and i would truly pay attention to their beloved one's dreams because it might be a silly maybe dream or some kind of a dream that doesn't let's take a look at that dream that doesn't make sense at the very beginning i would say write down everything about those dreams make a journal because that's when you're gonna get clarity where she's at anything about the dream Yeah, look how she's trying to send a message, right? Anything about the dream? See? The High Priestess is here, the Eight of Wands. She's sending messages where, where the information is at, where she's at. Uh, it does seem like that dream, whoever has that dream, it might be taking place indoors and it might be confusing sometimes, but I'd pay attention to every single detail of that dream and what does it remind you of in, um, remind you of in the 3D world, what you're familiar with. There are keys, you know? There are keys in that dream. How does that person feel in that dream when they dream of it? They feel good in that dream. Maybe that's why they are confused. Maybe that's why they are confused. They might be naked in that dream or they might be... Um, uncomfortable in that dream with their physicality with their body but overall the dream doesn't seem like it's a it's a bad dream but i do think that it's difficult for her to portray the story a straightforward story for someone out there so she would almost like she'd come in into subconscious, you know, leave a message there somewhere in someone's dream that is happening already. Yeah, that person feels really good in that dream. Maybe that's why they're so confused. They're like, what the hell does that mean, you know? And there might be a male involved in that dream. Doesn't matter what they're doing, but I'm just trying to give clues. So I'd pay attention to location in that dream. Three of Wands, looking looking further away, right? I'd pay I'd pay attention to that. That's her energy, yeah. She's like, write it down, write it down. You know, I'm trying to send you. Like she's like, I'm, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Damn, I, I took so many cards. Okay, let's see anything else that she'd like to say. And we're going to send good energy. And send her with her family. Anything else to assist us? Three. Was there three of them? I do believe there was three of them, right? Sisters. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, eight of wands. Um, I do think that something will happen quickly. Look, seven of swords. Is coming out. I only want seven of swords here. Um, it does seem like there is going to be movement when it comes to uncovering the truths. 
see even in this card she's sending information down below she's like I'm, I'm sending it to you sisters sisters you know about the secret about what is unseen what do you want to say to sisters be brave she's saying but not not regarding the situation i'm not feeling that in general be brave look king of wands queen of swords be brave and independent she's referring to them needing for them to be independent specifically financially here anything else yeah, and she's given them a boost as if they can they can get whatever they want. And she's like, you're the magicians. You can do anything you want. Be independent. Be brave. Speak your truth for the Queen of Swords here. Go for your fire, something that you want to do. Uh, but meanwhile, she seems like she keeps sending that, you know, she's helping them. She's their spirit guide. She's helping them. Anything else? Anything else you want to say? Ego. You may feel that you are trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful to not overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. This is an ego card. I don't like taking, you know, messages only from what's written here. It does seem like someone needs to have balance between the material realm and also the... Uh, It's as if the, she doesn't want someone to be trapped in, in the material only. Someone needs to lose in the grip here. But you also see that she's referring to... Someone does have, yeah. Someone does have a piece of jewelry of hers and she wants her sisters to have it. It looks very old. So maybe she got it from someone else already, like from a family member, uh, because it doesn't seem like a new bought, you know, jewelry when, when she was, let's say, grown up. I don't see that. It's way before. Anything else? Um, she's referring to them doing well financially in the future. And I don't think they do do they, they struggle now, but she keeps referring to you know money is good, you know you're you're secure, you're safe financially, and that's what matters. So I hope that this was interesting. I didn't want to do it from you know a side like oh drama drama. Nah, I wanted to take a look at it, this case from kind of neutral perspective. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.